Hello, and welcome back to Kern Mesa Productions, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to make anything look small. And I hope you find this video helpful, and I hope you also enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to start out by just making a little uh, toy car. And there you have it, a very sloppy car, but it'll work for this tutorial. And I'm just going to make a quick scene right here. And I'll put in an HDR. And now we can go into rendered view and see how it looks. Here we are. And I'll, I'm just gonna shade smooth these wheels and give them an edge split modifier. And now we're all set to set up the Cycles render engine, which makes everything look a whole lot better. And I am just going to delete my light so that I have a flat scene right here. And then I'm going to set up a light myself, just add in a plane with an emission material. And you're all set. And then once you have that, you can kind of move it around to serve your needs. And I like where this one is. So now we can start giving kind of a miniature effect. And that's actually going to go mostly from the render settings. So the first thing that I want to enable is if I go to my camera settings, I'm going to turn on the depth of field and you can just go crazy with this. Like it doesn't even matter. Like you can turn the f-stop all the way to like 0.1 as long as you still have the detail that you want. And um, I actually don't. And what I'm gonna do to um, help with this is I'm going to put the focus on an empty, a plain axis empty, and I'm gonna just move the empty right here. And then if we go back into rendered view and the camera, I am going to go back to the camera settings and change the focus object to be the empty. And then you can see that the front of the car is completely, um, or 99% um, all set. And towards the back of the car, it gets a lot more blurry. And I think this is actually a little bit too blurry. Um, actually, uh, I don't think so, but um, yeah. And I'm just gonna give these wheels a quick material right here. And I suggest giving the ground material um, or the ground material as well. And that gives everything a nice miniature look. Uh, huh. And now it looks like you have a tiny 
little car right here. In fact, I'll make this car red. It's gonna be a red little car. Nice red little car. And um, now is the time to render out your scene. So I'm just gonna do that. And here you have it, a nice little car render right here. And it certainly looks small. And uh, now we can go over to the compositing and click use nodes. I'm just gonna really quick get rid of this. And um, if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled, just enable that um, in the edit preferences. And I'm just gonna control shift and click on the render views and get this up. And the node that I want, it, it's just one of them. I'm gonna add a lens distortion. And I'm gonna put this right here and then plug this in here. And the distortion, I'm gonna turn this to point 0.1. Okay, that was not the one I wanted. The um, disper, I don't know what the end of that is, but I, uh, dispersion. I'm gonna turn this to point 0.1 and you can even turn this to like point 0.2 um, and that'll give it a nice look to it, more of a photorealistic look. And um, I'm realizing that this is a very rough car. I'm gonna turn the roughness down on this guy. Make it look a little bit shinier. And then, yeah, now we have a nice shiny little car. Um, make the wheels a little bit shinier cause they are all toys. And, um, yeah, if you're going to do an animation with this, um, I say the blur is really important. So you can turn on the motion blur and make it like super, super high and that'll give it a nice effect to it. So this is a render that I made of trucks and cars, and the blur is pretty high, the depth of field, but there's also something else going on in here. And that is that I have a relative object right here, or uh, actually multiple. As you can see, I have the blocks, the little spelling blocks, and I have the ball in the right beneath it and these are kind of a relative object and basically that shows you know these spelling cubes are usually pretty small so these cars and trucks must be pretty small as well and that's pretty much all there is to it except that if you're making toys you will want to give it a bit of a shiny look not too sophisticated of textures usually um but yeah i want to thank you for watching and i hope you found the video helpful i will see you in another video hopefully bye